Hey guys, it's Carolyn from All Day I Dream About Food. One thing I find that people miss most on the keto diet is crunchy snacks. They miss popcorn, they miss chips, they miss things that really crunch when they bite into them. Well today, we're gonna help you get some crunch back in your life. We're gonna make a recipe out of my first cookbook, The Everyday Ketogenic Kitchen. We are making the nacho chips. These are fabulous. They're truly crunchy, they taste just like Doritos, and my kids absolutely loved them, so that was a win. So one of the secret ingredients in my keto nacho chips is another popular keto snack, pork rinds. In this case, you're using the ground version. Now, you can grab a bag of pork rinds and grind them yourself, or you can buy them pre-ground. Now, if you're doing it from whole pork rinds, you definitely want to grind them very finely in a food processor, and you wanna make sure you measure them out after you grind them. The first step is to take some egg whites. I've got two egg whites here, and we're just going to put them in our bowl, and we're gonna add a little salt. I usually use about a quarter teaspoon worth of salt. And we're just gonna whisk these by hand until they're a little bit frothy. Now, after I've got a nice froth going on my egg whites, all I have to do is put in one and a half cups of the pork rinds. These are the pork rind crumbs from Porking Good, and they're really nicely ground. Sometimes there's a little bit of a bigger chunk, but not really a big deal. So just put those in there. And then we have a cup of shredded cheese. I just bought some pre-shredded cheese, but you can easily shred your own if you prefer. This is a Mexican blend cheese, but you can use cheddar just as easily. And finally to that, we are going to add one tablespoon of taco seasoning. Now this is pre-mixed taco seasoning. It's organic, it doesn't have any other fillers. You can easily make your own taco seasoning and there's actually a recipe for that in my book as well. There we go, now we just mix it all together. It's going to become something like a dough once you mix it with the whisked egg whites. And you can see here now that I've got a really nice dough out of my mix and it's something you can pick up and squeeze and really hold together in your hand. Now the next step is simply to roll out the dough as thinly as you can. For that, I always recommend pieces of parchment paper. So I'm gonna put one on the bottom, and I'm gonna take my dough and kind of pat it out into a nice rectangle. And I'm gonna cover that up with another big piece of parchment paper. I'm gonna take my rolling pin and just keep rolling until it's almost as thin as I could possibly make it. Okay, well now you'll see that I pretty much rolled it so thin that I took it right to the edge of my parchment and I'm running off the parchment. Super, super thin so that it'll crisp up properly. Now you're just gonna take off your top piece of parchment and you're going to take a sharp knife or I like to use a pizza cutter and cut it into two inch squares. Now all you need to do is cut each of those squares diagonally so that you have two triangles and they're more chip shaped. Now you simply want to take a nice big cookie sheet, hopefully one without a rim, so that you can easily just slide the whole parchment onto your cookie sheet. Now my keto nacho chips are ready to go into the oven. I've set it to 300 and they're gonna go in for about 20 minutes and they're gonna get a little bit golden, but they still will seem soft. Then you wanna turn off your oven and leave them in for another 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how thinly you manage to roll the dough. You wanna keep a close eye on them while they're in the oven. Here we go, guys. I took them out of the oven. They're looking great. I've let them cool for a while. And now let me show you. We've got keto nacho chips. You can just break them apart along the score lines and they are really great. They have total crunch, listen to this. Can you hear that? Good stuff. 
And honestly, for something made out of pork rinds and cheese, they're surprisingly sturdy. You can use them to scoop up guacamole or your favorite salsa. They work perfectly for any kind of dip. For more great keto recipes, check out my blog, All Day I Dream About Food, or go purchase yourself a copy of the Everyday Ketogenic Kitchen.